just going to show you guys real quick how to track Webflow form submissions with Google Tag Manager. So I'm here on the account page for Tag Manager. Um, I just have one account here. You have to create this when you log in initially. And I'm going to create a new container here. This is for my brand site, so I'm going to name it Reaper Digital Site. And it is a website, so I'm going to click Web for the target platform. Once that's created, it's going to give me some code to put into the website. So this snippet here, as this says, needs to go in the head element. So if we go back over to Webflow, I'm just in my site settings, and I need to go over to custom code. I'm going to paste that in here and hit save. Now we need to head back over to Google Tag Manager and grab the second snippet. This goes at the opening of the body tag. So now we need to go back over to Webflow, go to our designer, wait for that to load. And we're going to use an embed element to add this to the site. So scroll down to your embed element, drag one over, put it as high in the site as you can. And we're going to paste that snippet in there save and close and what i like to do i generally make the embed element into a component so i can add it to all my pages so i go to components create a new component i usually name it gtm for google tag manager and then because this tutorial is specifically for tracking forms i'm going to head over to my contact us page and i'm going to add that component to the top of this page. So now that page can be tracked. Now I just need to publish those changes. So now back to Google Tag Manager, we can close this out since we already did that. And we need to create a new tag. So we can create a new tag here. Let's name it form submission. Let's configure the tag. This is for a Google Analytics 4 event right here. What you need to do now is set this to manually set ID and then head over to your analytics and you need to go to your admin panel or your configure, go to admin, go to your data streams click into that primary data stream and copy your measurement ID. So now back in Tag Manager, we just need to paste that measurement ID in right here. And I'm going to call this form underscore submit. That's a pretty standard syntax for Google Analytics. And now I need to add a trigger. So here, I need to add a new trigger, top right. Call this form submission trigger configure it and we're looking for form submissions and then we can also specify for some forms I just want this one to track my contact form so I'm going to click some forms and we only want to count it if it comes from a page URL containing let me go to my site real quick only if it comes from a page URL containing contact-us. So I'm going to paste that right here, save that, save the tag, and now that that's all done, I need to preview it. I'm going to enter my website URL. Connect. It's going to open my site in a new window. As you can see, this is tracking with Tag Assistant. And if we go back to this window, we can see that this tag has not been fired yet. So I'm going to go back to that window, go over to my form, and let's just put testing. And when we submit this form, that tag should show as triggered. So submit the form, head back over here. As you can see, the tag has now fired. We can close out of this now, stop debugging, just exit this,
go back to Tag Manager. We know that works now. Submit it. And I'm just going to say I added form tracking. Added form submit tag. And I'm going to go ahead and publish that. And now when I go back over to analytics, you have to go to real time view because it can take up to 24 hours for any new analytics to post to this screen here. You have to go reports, real time. And as you can see here, we have a form submit event from what I just did. Let me know if you guys have any questions.